Okay, so I got a question from a student uh, regarding the Sharpless epoxidation. And this uh, is a question that shows up on Wiley's David Klein Organic Chemistry text. It's the second edition, page 653. Um, regardless um, of where it comes from, we want to look at this problem together. And I want to show, just a second here, that... Um, how this works. Okay, so first of all, let's start with the suggestion that, that uh, Klein makes regarding the Sharpless epoxidation. He says, draw this uh, double bond in, suppose it's in the face of a plane. So you're looking down in the, in the plane, and you have R1, R2, and R3. And if you treat this now with the reagents, which I'm going to draw out Okay, T I O C H dimethyl, and then this is also done with the critical reagent now plus DET. All right, what we're going to do then is we're going to assume that if we do this with the plus version, and if you've got the, let me change colors here, just with the plus version, and you've got the the uh, well, that group right there, in the, in the top right hand corner, what's going to happen is the the epoxide is going to go here. Okay, and of course you got to get rid of that double bond if you do that. And that's what you're going to get. So what this makes is it makes something that looks like that. Right, and that's going to put R1 right here. Can you see that? And it's going to put that right there. And this is going to be R3. And this will be R2. All right, and finally, uh, I want to give one more version of this that a student gave uh, last night in class, which I thought was really good. And that is here. Uh, what he says is. I'm just going to look at it like this. I, I, this is my interpretation of what he said. It's possible that um, I might misrepresent it. He said, I'm going to look at it like that. When I treat this with chicken foot peroxide, how are we going to set up in here? I need to tell my colleague here that I'm doing a video so that he knows not to say anything embarrassing. So what um, students said last night in class was, I'm going to do this. Right? And bring it like that. So then I've got my Hydroxide here, R3. I, th I think this is actually a really good way. It's probably prefer pref um, to be preferred over the presentation that Klein gives, the one I've used, um, because you can just leave everything in the same orientation, right? I turn this OH around. Of course, you know there's free rotation about that bond there, so it means nothing that I turned that around. I, I don't know, even know why I did that. But you, I guess the one thing you do have to remember is that these four groups all get pushed down behind the plane now. The, that one, all four of these guys get pushed down because of repulsion. Um, but these are two methods. Uh, the one I showed you a moment ago on the previous page, I'm going to call this method two, or uh, we'll give the initials of the student who, who showed that. And this is method one and we'll give the initials of the person who recommended that that's the textbook author all right let's go back now to um, to this question and if we're doing that let's take this um, excuse me let me go back to the other color let's take this structure and I'm gonna do it like that gotta put the OH here right and if I do, 
That's a hydrogen. You know what? I'm going to get a different color. Right? That's a hydrogen and that's a hydrogen. All right, if I do that, I've got to remember, I'm going to flip the whole, whole thing over. Right? So I'm flipping the whole thing over. Um, that's going to be a hydrogen. Let me spell hydrogen with an H. Still, I'm thinking I'm going to change that rule. All right, and that's a trans, or I guess in this case, uh, an E um, double bond, right? One, two, three, four. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. Six. Let me, let me make sure I've got this right now. Double bond between atoms two and three. Double bond between atoms two and three. Okay, this is correct. This is the same thing as that over there. So, um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take my go with a different color. Right, and that's going to push. It's going to push these other guys down. Um, and this is the right answer. We can we can even stop here. Um, this is the right answer, but um, if you want to look, you, now we have to evaluate: is this what the book looks like? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at this as if I'm a person looking from that angle right there, a person with really beautiful eyelashes, nice sort of well-proportioned nose. Not sure why my mouth is open, but um, it's for a better picture. So this is me looking uh, at the molecule from that side. What I'm going to do now is come over here and say, what does that person see? Oops, I also need to turn this over like that direction. But if I'm looking at it from the side, what I see, that's atom two, and that's atom three. And let's go green up. The epoxide is up here. It's not wedges anymore because I'm looking at it from the side. Okay. Um, Let's look at uh, now. Now we've got some. We've got to decide what comes toward us and what comes behind us, right? Okay. So if this is atom two, can you see that atom one is coming out toward us? And can you see that? Just a minute here. Oops. Uh, atom one is coming out toward us. And can you see that that is the hydrogen, which is behind? All right, and if that's the case, where's the other hydrogen over here? Is it here, or is it here? Please pause the video right now and make a decision. Is it here, or here? Okay, let me suppose you paused it, and I'm gonna say, yep, it goes there, because this is the person looking at it, the hydrogen's closer to their nose, actually pretty close to that well-proportioned nose. And the, it looks like atom four is over here. Oops, let's keep our colors the same. Let's keep our colors consistent. That's atom four. And then off of atom four comes atom five and atom six. Okay, right on the little space here. There's atom five and there's atom six. Okay, so let's look now at the textbook in page 653 and see if that's what you got. That's exactly what's on there. Yep, that's exactly what's on there. So, all right, there's one thing that's a little bit misleading here, and that is that this, um, let me go back to my black. This arrow here doesn't give that. This arrow really gives that, right? This was just a redrawing uh, of, of this at first. It was sort of a work, in, a, work, a work in progress. But this arrow gives this over here, and that's exactly what's in the book on page 653 of Klein's Organic Chemistry, second edition. OK, I hope that's helpful. Appreciate the questions, and um, I look forward to more questions uh, from you.